what's up mamas welcome back to another video so today is mother's day yes guys i'm cooking today on mother's day my birthday is this friday coming up so i'm super excited about that so no my boyfriend did not give me nothing for mother's day because he's saying that i'm not mom yet like what i was so pissed but whatever my friend ashley she got me some flowers he did give me flowers yesterday but that was because i was mad at him but my friend ashley came and brought me some balloons a bracelet and some sparkling uh non-alcoholic grape juice and i gotta show you guys the bracelet when i'm done cooking but first let me show y'all what i'm about to start cooking y'all know i'm about to be out of breath already so bear with me today i'm gonna be making chicken sweet potatoes um, macaroni and cheese and greens so I kind of started the chicken already so what you want to do is you want to wash your chicken and I put peppers onions and a little bit of garlic in there and you want to put a little bit of chicken broth and season it so I'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like after it's seasoned and has your chicken broth in there okay you want to let this bake for about an hour to two hours no two hours to really let it fall off the bone so I'm checking in with you guys. I am still 33 weeks today, showing y'all the bump. But I'm not gonna talk in this part. I'm just gonna go ahead, season the chicken, and y'all can watch me do this. So jumping right in, we're gonna be using some parsley. I'm gonna spring a little parsley on them. This is semi-dried. Then of course, a little bit of seasoning salt. Can't go wrong with that, Lori's girl. Of course, onion powder. garlic powder I don't know why I didn't show it also remember you can season to your liking okay cayenne pepper which is spicy so season to your liking black pepper creole seasoning and now paprika and the paprika just gives it a little bit of color now this is something that i grew up on my spanish girls probably know you need that sazon packet by goya this is going to make your chicken orange so you don't want to use too much of it i just used one pack but of course we're going to make a gravy so i'm going to be using chicken broth this is just so that your chicken is not dry um we're going to you know crisping it up a little bit so you're going to wash your hands you're just going to mix everything in you want to massage those seasonings into your chicken now this will also be really good if you let this marinate overnight but enough of the talking you guys can watch me massage the seasoning in now I'm taking the turkey baser to get all those juices on top of the chicken okay this part is optional but I just didn't want to miss out on any flavor so now I'm taking a half a stick of butter and I'm just cutting it into little squares putting it right on top of the chicken which is also going to give this really flavor really good flavor excuse me so this is what it looks like when it's all done. You wanna cover this up and let it bake for about two and a half hours. I'm sorry, two and a okay half. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna make the greens. So I got a bag of these greens. They're triple washed, but I'm still gonna wash them off, okay? And then I also have some smoked turkey neck, which is gonna give it like some flavor. And then I chopped up a half an onion and some garlic. So after I wash the greens off, I'm gonna put one turkey neck and put the veggies inside the greens, but I'll show you guys that. I like to put the smoked turkey neck in there and put the onions in there and I just kind of like it to caramelize a little bit like this and then once it browns up a little bit that's when I'm going to add the greens. I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock and some water and I'm going to show you guys about how much I fill the pan up to. So this is about a half a cup of chicken stock and a half a cup of water. And then also you're going to add a half a stick of butter. So again, these are the seasonings that I will be using to season the greens. And remember, you can season to your liking. Now, you definitely need your hot sauce. A lot of people might substitute this and use vinegar, but I like hot sauce. I add about 10 dashes. So this is what everything looks like after I add the greens in. And you want to go ahead and mix everything together. The greens are washed as well again. Greens cook for about an hour and a half on low medium. I'm gonna be boiling my macaroni noodles. Macaroni noodles are boiling. I'm going to cut four sweet potatoes. As you guys can see, I cut four sweet potatoes like this and peeled them. Now I'm gonna add some sugar. I know it looks like a lot, but it's not a lot, y'all. Now I'm gonna add some cinnamon. And I kinda just eyeball this. I wish I knew measurements, but I don't know how to cook in measurements. It's crazy. 
a couple dashes of vanilla extract, light brown sugar, and I just add a little bit of that as well. And this is a half a cup of melted butter. No, a half a stick of melted butter. And you wanna drizzle a little bit of Aunt Jemima syrup. Yo, it's gonna be so good, it's gonna taste like a pie. <laughs> you wanna go ahead and mix everything up. So you're gonna let this bake on about 375 after um, you mix everything up and you wanna cook it with the foil on. I'll put more details in the description box, okay? But just make sure you get all those flavors on top and this is what it's gonna look like. So now we wanna make a roux, which is kinda like the base of our macaroni and cheese. All this is is a stick of butter and a half a cup of flour, about a half a cup of flour. And you just wanna make sure you get all those clumps out. So now here's the cheeses that we're gonna be using. To add to that roux sauce that we're gonna make, we're gonna use one pack of triple cheddar and one pack of Velveeta. And the rest is gonna be, um, you know, we're gonna add it at the end. And then we're gonna do Cracker Barrel cheese. We're gonna cut these into cubes. So now for our sauce, I just added um, about two cups of milk and I added those cheeses in and just mixed it all together until it got like this. So now our pasta is done. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of pepper and a little bit of Himalayan salt. And remember, you can season this to your liking, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and mix that up. And you don't want your um, macaroni noodles to be too soft because it'll continue to cook inside the oven. And we're gonna cover this up as well. But like I said, I'll put more details in the description box because I forgot to add the part um, where I add the milk and the um, roux as well. So now we're gonna go ahead and add the cheese sauce into the noodles. You wanna make sure you get every drip, okay? This is like liquid gold. <laughs> So now we're gonna mix all of that up as you can see. And some people actually just make it like this, but not me, I like to add extra cheese. I love my mac and cheese to be extra cheesy. I don't play about the cheese, okay? But some people would just eat it just like this, not I. And you don't need an egg in this recipe either. So now we're gonna add the cubes of cheese in here. And you're gonna go ahead and mix that all up. To some people, this might be excessive cheese. <laughs> so now I'm gonna add a little bit of milk because you don't want this to dry out while it's cooking. I hate dry ass macaroni and cheese. So if you feel like it's starting to dry up on you, just add a little bit of milk. And some people use carnation milk. I don't know why. The thought of milk being in a can disgusts me. Like, seriously. So now we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of that mozzarella cheese on top. And then we're gonna sprinkle some more of the triple cheddar. I actually had a little bit of cheese left over because I was like, okay, that's enough. But I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in as well. Oh, also I should have cut the um, block of cheese smaller because it melts better, but it still melts it. So now we're gonna put a little bit more triple cheddar on top. This is just gonna be like the finishing touch on here. And a little bit of mozzarella. and a little bit of parsley. Now, I should've did this afterwards because when it baked, it actually turned the macaroni and cheese green at the top. Normally, I do it after. I don't know why I did it like right now. I shouldn't have did that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika for color. And then we're gonna put the foil on. This has to bake for about two hours, you guys. Like probably two and a half because I put the blocks of cheese in there. So you're gonna bake this on about 375 as well. So this is what it looks like after your chicken has been baking, but we're going to pour all that juice out and make the gravy, okay? And I don't like my chicken slimy either, so we wanted to get back a little bit hard. So what we did was we poured the juice from the chicken into a cup. We're gonna make a gravy, and then I put the chicken back in the oven so that the um, skin could get nice and crispy. To make the gravy, all you wanna do is make a slur, which is a little bit of water and a little bit of flour. This is gonna make the gravy thicken up, okay? As you can see, it started to thicken up right here. Keep 
keep mixing, keep mixing. Of course, if you want it thicker, add more of the water and flour. So that's what I'm doing, so I want it a little bit more thicker. So this is what my chicken looks like after I put it back in the oven. We're using the juice. This is our candy yams. Oh my god! The mac and cheese, y'all, was so good. Like I said, the parsley turned to green. It's a little crazy. And then here's our gravy. And this is our greens, y'all. This took forever. Like my ankles was burning. Y'all know I'm pregnant. So I went ahead and added some stuffing as well, guys. I just used box stuffing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.